Hello YouTubers, um, Anderson Shelter bunk beds, a bit of a nightmare. Just going to show you what I've done and uh, how I've got round a few problems with regards to bunk beds in a World War II Anderson Shelter. Okay, the first thing is I got hold of an original bunk from an old Anderson Shelter. This is an original Anderson Shelter bunk. Um, I'll get the ruler out in a second show you some measurements. But uh, it's, it's a proper original Anderson Shelter bunk which I've used as a copy to make my bunks. Let's give you some measurements in case you're interested. Okay, firstly these cells are three inches by six inches. Okay, um, they're bent down at the ends and they're banged into the wood. Now the wood itself is about one and three quarter inch by two inches. Now I tried to sit on this and I bent it um, to the point of it would have broke. So what I've decided to do is make my bed slightly better, uh, slightly thicker so that they don't break. I don't know why they used to make them like this in the war. I know materials were quite hard to get hold of but to be quite honest two inches is not really wide enough to put a, a whole adult's weight on. Let's go back to my shelter and see what we've done. Okay, so I've made, that's a child bed, another child bed there, okay? Then you've got an adult bed here, and another adult bed there, adult bed, and another adult bed. So the shelter itself sleeps six. Now I've gone for, I'll show you, the originals were 19 inches wide and I have gone for 19 inches wide to stay with the originals. These end pieces will be dropped into these long pieces when I've finished it. I've just stood them on top just so that I know that they're there because I'm going to dovetail them into the wood. So they're going to drop down. Now rather than using the thin wood as I just previously said, I'm going to use two inch by four inch. Now these come straight out of a roof, out of an old roof of a 1930s house. So the wood itself is aged and it's probably um, about the same age as the original shelter um, wood that they would have used. But I'm going four inches by two inches rather than one and three quarter by two because these are strong as an ox. And when I get my mesh over here, they're going to be nice and strong. So the shelter itself sleeps six. I'll do another video when I've made the, made the uh, bunks and they're complete. But uh, up to now, I've just got the frames in. They rest on the angle iron at each end. And as soon as I've got the frames in, the, frames, the, the mesh in, the mesh will go across here on all of them and on the bubble ones up there and down there. I'll do another YouTube video but that is my six birth Anderson shelter which I will be putting my children in when it's done or I might decide to live in it um, and because uh, I'm sure when I finished it it's going to be really comfortable thank you for watching